whenever I heard about the colonoscopy that I could swallow the pill cam, I thought, what a great opportunity for me. Um, I have problems with anesthesia, and I thought, this is perfect. I had a maternal grandmother die at the age of 53 with colon cancer, and um, I was advised by my OB to um, go 10 years prior to that to get screened. Okay, we got it. Now you swallow it. Put all the water. And off you go. Do you want a little bit more? No, I'm good. What do you think? Am I glowing? <laughs> well, it's working, it's there. We're good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it feels fine. Typically, colonoscopy is an examination of the colon that we do, and it's been out for a long time now. Most patients are familiar with it. They're sedated. They come prepped and sedated. They come uh, to our uh, actual endoscopy lab, which is across the street from this office, and they're put to sleep under a general anesthetic. Once asleep, we advance this long black uh, tube throughout the length of the colon and we take pictures inside of the colon. We uh, look for abnormalities, we can take samples and biopsies. This uh, is the entire camera, this is the scope that we now use and they have miniaturized this colonoscope into a pill and everything in here, is the camera, recorder, everything sends the images out to a, a recorder belt. Now it's sent through some leads that we place on the body, kind of like EKG leads. So it'll send the images and impulses to these leads which then get recorded on the recorder belt. Typically the first time I read it, it would be on a single image. We can set the reading speed and adjust that as we want. Uh, if I see an abnormality, I click on it and then stop it and then copy it. This device as it stands today is only for diagnostics. So one of, the, one of the differences that yes, this can be for screening, this can be for screening, but also at the time this can be used for therapy too. So you're right that if we see something on the pill uh, on a screening exam, we still have to do the traditional colonoscopy.